Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is my 2012 edition of my PS3 collection. I do want definitely a lot more games than this that I'm going to show you, but uh, let me not talk too much because I want to make this video as short as possible. So let's start with a few games. Here's uh, Demon Souls. They're not in alphabetical order, and I am missing two games. I should tell you, uh, and for my collection is that. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 and uh, MLB The Show 2011. Well, anyway, besides that, Demon Souls, great game, um, one of the hardest games this generation. If you like a challenge, definitely pick this one up. Dead Space, um, do you want to uh, eventually beat this game? I had a save in my old PS3 um, which gave me the yellow light of death and so I have to definitely play this again um, was borrowing off of someone when I was playing it so now I own it so that's a good thing <laughs> uh, it's a very scary game everybody knows it I mean what, what can I say that no one else knows but if you like survival horror that's an awesome game to play uh, Dark Void, don't know much about it, just know that this guy looks like uh, the Rocketeer, kind of. Um, definitely pick it up if you're into sci-fi stuff, because that's what it looks like. Uh, just a guy shooting with a jetpack on. Ico and the Shadow of the Colossus collection. Played a, a little bit of uh, Shadow of the Colossus collection, uh, a little bit of Shadow of Colossus, but Ico I have not touched yet. So, that tells you... Where I'm at on that. Um, here is the Elder Scrolls Oblivion 4, I believe, and uh, this is the Game of Year edition. Um, I traded my old copy to get this copy, obviously, because it has all the DLC. And if you enjoy uh, Bethesda uh, Fallout, then you probably enjoy that. Sports Champion with the move if you're into uh, working out. Um, being healthy this is a game and you're a gamer this is a game you might want to pick up um, it's not the greatest game I mean I do enjoy the archery uh, the volleyball I believe and the bow there's a bowling there's a lot of games many games in here and it's, it's basically showing how the move works it's pretty a decent game by the way so Com confrontation one of the early games from the PS3 uh, uh, this generation um, if you like third person shooters um, it's not the best um, but it was fun I did play with a bunch of my family members uh, a couple of my cousins my brother played this quite a bit when uh, it first came out it's definitely a fun game if you, if you have people in your team but uh, it's very realistic um, but it's very hard to get trophies in that game Resident Evil 5 I want to get the game of the year edition or the gold edition I mean with the move capabilities uh, because this is actually in my old PS3 and I can't get it out at the moment and I need to play it again because I miss it. The Rage, um, if anyone wants to play this game or still plays this online let me know. I haven't even popped it in yet but I do know it's by Bethesda and the guys that created uh, Quake. Um, so, I'm looking forward to playing this. I heard mixed reviews, but I will see what I think eventually. Overlord, uh, Raising Hell. Um, this is, I believe, a strategy RPG, uh, but with darker elements to it. Uh, you're basically a, a guy controlling a lot of, uh, kind of like Pigment, actually. That's what it might be, yeah. if you know what I'm talking about. You gamers should know. Near one of the uh, most underrated games this generation as it comes for RPGs. Really enjoy this game. I got it for cheap. Um, I'm probably like 20 hours into this. Um, basically, it revolves without this gentleman right here and uh, this lady right here. Um, he has a daughter that's uh, kind of going through some disease that's, and he's trying to figure out the disease or cure it, I mean. And that's basically the plot the first half of the plot I don't know the rest because I haven't played much more than 20 hours to it into it Mass Effect 2 
Uh, I know the first one is on the, the Xbox. This does have some backstory to the first one, and I still haven't popped the second one. I definitely want to play them. Uh, because it's an RPG and I enjoy RPGs. It does have some sci-fi and I enjoy sci-fi as well. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Um, it's a good fighter, but uh, the Ultimate is a little bit better because they finished it and it has way uh, has a few more characters. But uh, I don't like Capcom charging for players. It should be like unlockables and the the DLC, you know, it, it should have been a DLC, the Ultimate Edition, but yeah, they want to make money, so obviously they're gonna do that, and that's what pisses me off. These companies make way more than than they should for games that don't, that are not finished. Uh, Army of Two, it's one of those old co-op games, one of the first in the uh, PS3, and I believe it's on Xbox. It's decent if you are board and you have no other co-op game to get I would if it's cheap if it's like five bucks pick it up but uh, I know the second one is out I've been out and uh, I haven't even I wanted to kind of get that one for some reason just haven't beaten that one so uh, if anyone still owns that game and wants to play it let me know Fallout uh, Fallout sorry Fallen uh, Angels Secret 2 this is an RPG that uh, heard minor reviews minor makes reviews too played a little bit of it but I don't know many people online um, that own this game or on YouTube I think I know a few people and they keep saying they want to play but they don't have time so it's hard to um, have friends that don't have time for a certain game but if anyone wants to play on that let me know because I own it for several months maybe a year over already and I still haven't played it um, that much. To remain of the anniversary collection, I am playing the an uh, anniversary um, addition to this. I mean Tomb Raider the trilogy. Um, it brings back memories. I'm not sure which if it's the first one or the second one in the PlayStation era but uh, it, it's one of them I believe. Genji the Day of the Blade one of the earlier um, hack and slashes on the PS3 and I believe you could only play it on the PS3 but it's not the greatest at all if it's cheap if you see it for like two bucks or five bucks yeah pick it up don't waste any more than that cross edge um, got this for like twenty dollars um, it's my first NIS America game and I've always wanted to play it their RPGs just um, never really got into them. This has a lot of characters that are, I believe, from other series, so it's like a crossover kind of. But uh, that's what I've heard, so I'm not too sure about that one. The Saboteur, if you're into like film noir, and this is basically a guy in it's an open world game, and it's I heard some mixed reviews to it, but I definitely wanted to check it out. I know I got it used, and it's pretty hard for me to. Oh, well, I was trying to find it out in the wild. It was pretty hard. Um, but um, this copy came out pretty cool, and it, most of the copies that I did pick up were all damaged. There's some DLC in there, but uh, I think it expired, so I have to probably purchase that later on. I still haven't popped that in, so I don't know so much about it. Tekken 6, one of the better um, fighters this generation. I know probably people don't uh, play the this game anymore, but when I did play it, it was hella fun. There was a, a huge community, and um, if anyone wants to still play, I do play the arcade mode every once in a while in a blue moon, but that's rare, and um, yeah. It's, it's a great game. Uh, if you're a fighter fan, then you should pick it up. You should already have picked it up. I do have the, the uh, special edition with the controller and everything. Um, the controller is decent, though. It's a de I wish I had a better controller, but I mean, I, I'm glad I have it, though. Sonic, uh, the Genesis Collection. Uh, all, all, yeah, the Ultimate Genesis Collection. It has tons of uh, old-school games from the Genesis era uh, 
Genesis library and um, just in HD. <laughs> you can't go wrong if you're into the old school stuff with that. Shadow of the Dam, if you're into Resident Evil, and I know some of the people that were involved with Resident Evil are involved with this game, so it has a good sense of humor too. So if it's your, it's pretty good. I got stuck. I haven't beaten it yet. Red Dead Redemption. I do want to get the, um, you know, Game of the Year edition, I believe, of this. But uh, I haven't beat this yet, so. It's, I'm not in any rush to get it, but uh, definitely want to pick that up too. Really enjoyed it. I only played about an hour or two of it. Resistance 2, and uh, I haven't beaten this game, but it does have better graphics than the first one. I admit that. I didn't like that they, you know, chose that you could only carry a certain amount of weapons, and um, I played some of the story. I mean, the online which was fun but um, I don't know if anyone still plays this online I, I'm pretty sure not because the third one is already out um, but um, it was it was good I still I'm still gonna go back to it for the story at least and now I got a uh, Mortal Kombat the, the one of the better uh, fighters this generation so far and it's it's a decent, uh, not a decent, way more than decent, awesome um, game for the modern uh, modern Mortal Kombat. So it's pretty cool. I really enjoy it. Uh, Monsters, Monsters Madness, Grave Danger, Grave Danger is a four-player co-op, kind of like Smash TV. It does have if you're into horror. It does have like zombies and other monster related uh, that you can shoot for hours on end. It's a really fun game. Really underrated, I think. If you have some friends over, it's pretty fun. Three Dot Game Heroes uh, is basically a Zelda clone Atlas game. Uh, if you see it cheap, pick it up. $20 is a great price for it. Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger, a fighting game that is 2D. I do have the special edition. I know there's uh, some sequels to this, but really good fighter as well. Assassin's Creed, great story, hell of a repetitive game, and I do want to beat this game eventually because uh, I do want to delve into the sequels. Dark Souls, I do have the collector's edition to this too. Um, but I don't like the collector's edition for both Demon Souls or Dark Souls, but uh, I do own them. I really enjoy the games. Um, they're, they're pretty hard though. They're pretty challenging games. And now it's uh, Modern Warfare, I mean Call of Duty 4. This one says Call of Duty though on it. So you see how they changed how this made it more popular. This says Call of Duty Modern Warfare, right? This is Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare. This is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And they don't even they didn't even reference the 4 in there anywhere. Um, this is uh, definitely the game I played the most out of uh, the Modern Warfares. I don't want to own the third one. Well, not at least yet. Maybe when it gets old, uh, cheaper. Uh, I kind of want to pick up the Black Ops because I do kind of miss that one. I did play some of that online. Not too much. But uh, it's it's fairly cheap now, so I might pick that one up. Um, Brutal Legends, really good um, game if you're into um, heavy metal. Tim Schafer, it has some strategy RPG elements to it. Uh, I haven't even played it really that much. Probably like two hours into it. Borderlands, um, probably played about 50 hours into this. And uh, I want to get back into it, but I don't know many people that are playing, still playing this game or still own this game. So if you do still own this game and you haven't been in it, let me know, man. Give me a comment. Let me know. We might, we might uh, be able to hook up and play that game. Bioshock, uh, the first one, um, paid about 10 hours into this. Definitely want to beat it so I can get into the, uh, the sequels and the prequels, whatever. Um, now let me show you a series of games 
and that's Uncharted, the first one, which everyone should own just for the story alone. Uncharted, the second one, which is a lot easier online because obviously the caliber have moved on to the third one. I have been the story more for the first and the second one. The third one, I still haven't even dabbled into it, but I know I played a little bit of it, but not too much. I need to get back into that one so I can eventually beat the story mode. I'm just playing the online pretty much. Uh, 007 Call of Silas. This is a tri developed game with Call of Duty, um, at least their version of Call of Duty um, mechanics and engine. So it's pretty similar to that. So if you know how to, if you're good at Call of Duty, you probably be good at this. Um, it has somewhat of the movie. Uh, story elements but it's kind of a separate entity besides that and um, it's really interesting I'm, I mean I'm a call I'm a, not a Call of Duty fan but I'm a 007 fan so I usually pick these games up I enjoy them I do have the collector's edition to this and I played it a little bit online uh, Alpha Protocol the explosive uh, explosive edition RPG I believe that's what it says there. I'm a bad reader. I need to go back to school. <laughs> uh, but this is um, developed by Sega. It has Unreal Engine. Um, so I haven't opened it yet. I heard some mixed reviews. I'll, I'll tell you where I think I'm going to play it. Fallout 3, I do want to get the Game of the Year edition to this because I've only played 100 hours. And I was hell of addictive when I picked this up. Um, it's a game if you enjoy Bethesda's and their and their engine then uh, pick it up if you haven't yet because this was a hell of a game when it came out I think it was the game of the year for me at least when it, when it was released and uh, I still haven't beaten this game <laughs> that's how long it is let's see here um, some more games here Folklord uh, one of the early RPGs in the uh, PS3 library you can play as two characters, a female and a male character. It's a dark game. It kind of reminds me of Pokemon if you, if it was a darker game. Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, really cool story, but pretty linear. Um, definitely beat this game eventually so I can play the second one. Even though I know what happens, which someone spoiled it for me. Fallout New Vegas, this is more like Fallout 3 DLC, but bigger. Um, but I don't count it as, I guess I can count it as DLC, but I, I want to wait until all the DLC that is coming out now for the game have actually be on so I can get the, the Game of the Year edition to that. Dark Sliders. Uh, do want to get the sequel eventually? I haven't played this, but I did see a lot of good um, gameplay to it. I heard good things, so um, I want to get into it. And now I have Grand Theft Auto 4, which I got really late in the series. Played some of the story mode and played um, some online, which is fun. Yep, uh, God of War the collections. I've only been playing the first one right now. Um, do want to get the rest of them in the series, so eventually get that when I, when I can. Uh, also, Grand Theft Auto Liberty, the episode of the Liberty series, which includes the loss of the dam and the battle of the gay Tony. Still haven't delved into that yet, eventually. Max Payne 3, I am playing the story mode to this. I do own the first one. I haven't beaten the first one, actually got stuck and uh, I'm playing this online too um, pretty for <laughs> it's been a pretty good uh, time with it do like uh, the the slow-mo uh, effects and it kind of reminds me of Grand Theft Auto online as well obviously because it's Rockstar it's gonna be pretty similar and then uh, Ma uh, Mafia 2 haven't popped it in yet but I got it for cheap so I'm not complaining and I did enjoy the demo to it. So, legendary. Um, played about two hours into this. Um, decent game if you like uh, mythological 
story elements to it. I, I enjoy it. It's not the greatest game. I wouldn't recommend if you see it cheap, maybe ten dollars. Yeah, purchase it. L.A. Noir, really decent game. Has great graphics. Um, the only problem I have with this game is that it's hell of a repetitive game. But besides that, and it's not as open world as you would like. But it does have that film noir feel to it, so that's mainly why I purchased it. Heavy Rain, um, I experienced it once so far, so um, I definitely want to delve into experiencing it a lot more and seeing more endings to it. So, and I can't wait for uh, Beyond Two Souls, and I am also still playing um, the first game when they came out with Quantum Dreams, which is I believe called Fahrenheit, but I could be wrong. Maybe that's a different name from the overseas name, but I'm not too sure. And then uh, the last two games I want to speak about is uh, Valkyria, I believe I'm pronouncing it, but Kriya Chronicles. And this is a strategy RPG. I'm a strategy RPG nut, so I had to pick this up. I'm glad I did. If you see this game, buy it. It's awesome. Um, you can control several people in your in your um, party. Cell shaded graphics that look amazing, like uh, some uh, Japanese anime or something. And uh, I'm pretty mad that the sequel went to the PSP because not enough people may, maybe not enough people picked it up to to create some attention to it. But please pick pick this game up if you haven't and you're and you're into RPGs and uh, pick up the sequel too because we gotta get uh, Sega knowing that this is an amazing series that they should invest some time in uh, and another Sega game is uh, Yakuza 4 which I find amazing too I love the series so well I haven't even played this one so far but I'm really loving it and I think I'm, in, I'm probably like 20 hours into it maybe 10 to 20 hours into it it basically follows the character, the main character. He's a, he's a lone shark kind of guy. He's controlling um, a part of Tokyo or Japan somewhere, and it's it's really interesting game. It's not as open world as I would like, but uh, still pretty fun. You know, if you like Tekken and you like uh, open world games, definitely pick it up. I want to actually get the third one, and um, I believe it's. Deadly Souls, the zombie version of this, um, and also probably you can play the first and the second one in the series, because um, I still have my PlayStation 2 hooked up to my old TV in the, in the living room, so I'm looking forward to that, and that's it, that's all the games I have at the moment, um, you can um, leave a comment if you want, subscribe if you like, and uh, yeah, like if you do like the video. So I'll see you guys later. I will um, probably uh, leave a link to Freddy Flame because he did a video of his collection recently. And I'm kind of just uh, going to add it to his because we're friends, I guess. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure he would like to see this video as well. So I'll see you guys later.